Hello. I'm back with another bit of work that we have available to us to help open up the thoracic spine. This means a little bit of a heart opener. If you're in the yoga world, you know that to be a back bend, um, but it's a really supported restorative variation. And all you need for this is a place to lay on the ground or a firm surface. I have carpet on my floor, that's perfectly fine. I don't know that a mattress would be the best way to try this work. So something more firm than a mattress. And then a bath towel, some a big towel, a beach towel also works. If you have a yoga blanket, you're welcome to use that. And then just in case, I grabbed a little hand towel. Um, it's an option to help give you a little bit of relief in your neck if you find that your neck feels a little bit compressed and crunchy here. So uh, if you've ever been to one of my yoga classes, you know that we spend a lot of time setting up props, uh, yoga props being the tools that we might use to find ourselves a little bit deeper in our yoga asanas. So let's do some prop setup with our towel. This is my bath towel that I'm using, and I'm gonna take it sort of its uh, long way, its tall way, and fold it in half that way. For those of you that grew up in the 90s, this is the hamburger way of folding. And then with that rectangle folded in half, I'm gonna fold it in half again, but lengthwise. So hot dog lengthwise. So now I've got a, another smaller rectangle that's got folded edges on one side and then edges on the opposite side that look a little looser, kind of like a tail. I'm going to start from the short end that has my rolled folded edges and then the tail end is away from me. We're going to begin to tightly roll this short end that has the folded edges. You could imagine like a nice burrito style of roll or maybe like a sushi roll. Lots of food metaphors today. And maybe come so that you've got, I don't know, three to six inches of tail left. For me, I think that this towel in particular perches right at about three inches of tail. So you're facing your blanket roll and you've got the roll in front of you first and the tail is at the bottom of the roll facing away from you. Oops. <laughs> All right, you've got the idea. Now, you can set that roll there. Let's see if mine will stay. Stay. Use the force. Okay, grab your hand towel if you're using one. I am going to do something really similar. Start with the hand towel laid out. I'm going to fold it once the hamburger way, once the hot dog way, and then instead of rolling this one, I'm going to fold it one more time the hamburger way. So it's a little square folded platform. And that's an option for the back to rest between our heads and the ground when we come to the ground, which is where we're headed next. So I'm going to set that off to the side and come on down so that you feel your shoulder blades resting over your blanket roll. And by blanket, I mean towel, because we're not in a yoga studio, we're at home. The nice thing about the roll set up this way is that you can unroll it to decrease the height of the roll. So if you get into this back bend and you feel like it's too much, you could always sit up and unroll your roll a little bit. So I'll come down. I'm bringing my shoulder blades ish onto my towel burrito, <laughs> my towel roll. And let's all start with our hands cradling our heads with our elbows wide. So evoking maybe the image of the start of a sit up, but I promise we're not doing any abdominal work right here. Start by seeing if you can kind of feel the tissue at the back of your ribs that's making contact with your towel roll. See if you can really drop your awareness back there because I want you to start to give more load to your towel roll. So see if you can really sink back into your towel roll a little bit more. That sinking back, that giving more load, is hopefully gonna introduce a little bit of what we'll call friction into the tissue. So that as you push into your feet, you can push your head a little bit farther back 
So you could give your pelvis a little lift here. You could push your feet down and away so that your head and your torso shift back a little bit, but hopefully the soft tissue and the skin that's in contact with your blanket roll is still there. So we're giving a little bit of separation between the soft tissue and the skeletal tissue. So create a little bit of traction there in the tissues at the back of the body. And then you can slowly start to lower the back of the head towards the mat. Now, the ultimate goal is to let go of the head with the arms and let the arms come wide. If this is feeling too extreme, the first option is to take your hand towel that you may or may not have brought with you as an option and to place that under your head. That might reduce some overextension in the neck, might reduce a little bit of the complications in the neck. If that still isn't working for you, you can turn to one side, press yourself up, and reduce the height of your towel roll. If you're okay here, if you're like, whoa, this is a big back bend, but like I'm not straining, I don't feel like I can't breathe, then we're gonna be here for a few minutes and I'll guide us through a little bit of breath practice here too. So see if you can start by dropping your awareness back into that space that's contacting the roll. So your shoulder blades might have shifted off the roll a little bit, right? Because we shifted our bony architecture up a little bit, but some of the soft tissues stayed with the roll. So maybe your scapula, your shoulder blades are still in contact with the roll, maybe not. And with your next couple rounds of breath, notice what it feels like to have the back of the ribs, the back of the middle ribs, contained by the contact with your towel. Because of that containment, are you noticing movement of the breath anywhere else? How does it feel in the sides of the ribs? How does it feel in the front of the chest to take a nice steady inhale and exhale? Now check in with your neck and more specifically how your head feels as it rests beneath you against the earth. If there's any sense of strain and you're not already using your hand towel pillow, please employ that. There's no reason to strain one part of our body while we're trying to explore sensitivity in the thoracic spine region. So give yourself and your nervous system a chance to really focus on this rib cage portion of your spine that has that kyphotic curve. So really we're challenging our kyphotic curve here. We're asking the thoracic spine to come into extension. And we're reminding our body and our nervous system that we have capacity for this any time of day, without a towel roll even, without the ground even, but this is a really nice restorative way to explore that. So if your knees are still bent and you want to explore what it might feel like to lengthen out the legs, you could lengthen out one leg and then the other. I find that lengthening out my legs gives me a sense of length also in my belly. So as my hips kind of unfold, as, they, as the hip creases lengthen and get longer, I get a sense of this tissue at the front of my body starting at the front of the ribs and drawing all the way down over my hips. If that is of interest to you, you could lengthen out through the legs and then also take a few rounds of breath and see if you feel the breath moving down the belly. If you're like me, this feels amazing. <laughs> I have an upper back that can get really quiet or still. And this is a really great way for me to open the door for more conversation with that part of my body and to reintroduce a shape that it doesn't always remember that it can accomplish.
when you're ready to come out of this, you've been in it for a couple of minutes, you could stay here for another couple of minutes if you wanted. I always recommend that for folks who have their legs extended, bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat, and then turn to one side. You can roll off of your towel roll, that's totally fine. It's also totally fine to pause perched over your towel roll. And then use your hands to help yourself sit back up. And pause. When you come upright, you can come to a seat, you can come to standing, and see if you can drop your felt sense back into the place where the blanket or the towel roll just was. Can you feel the echo of your towel roll? Can you feel all of the new circulation that's there? Can you feel the sensory additions to your experience that that prop and that that containment allowed? And as you breathe, can you feel that piece of yourself moving now? I hope that the answer to one of those questions or more was yes. <laughs> Um, if not, I'm happy to chat with you about this specific piece of work. I think it's really valuable, especially in our culture where we all are rounding a lot, uh, driving, texting, all of our things. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you or show you another video soon. Bye.